Okay guys, so um, we did go ahead and get the both the animations and the details for the new LR Goku um, slash Vegeta, so it turns out it's going to be an exchange unit. Uh, so again, let's go ahead and let's hop right in. Translations, of course, um, are thanks to the homie Goresh. So uh, they are going to be super int, um, and again, I assume this is going to be also a 200% leader skill unit. Uh, just because, again, I really don't think they're going to stop doing 200% leader skills. So, let's go ahead and let's hop right in. So, uh, they are Realm of Gods or Mastered Evolution, 3 key, 170%. And then, if you're pure Saiyan, they're going to give you 30%. Alright, so I actually have the Resurrection F tag pulled up here. Uh, let me call up, go ahead and pull up Mastered Evolution and then Realm of Gods. Alright. So anyways, we'll take a look at the units in just a moment. So they do have an intro animation. Um, so of course, I think this is just Goku powering up and stuff. Um, their super attack, the Super God Flash, raises attack and causes immense damage. So they don't do a whole lot on the 12th key super attack. So that's interesting to see. Uh, passive activates the entrance animation at the start of characters attacking turn once only. Uh, they gain 3 key and perform an additional attack that has a high chance of being a super for 3 turns from first appearance. So that's actually pretty good. And it doesn't seem that there is a specific condition for the intro animation, so that's also pretty good. Uh, so they get 150% at the start, they get another 50% on super, and then another 25% attack and defense whenever attacking, Max of 100%. Hmm. My main concern is, is this something that builds up per attack that they do? Or do they have to do four attacks? Hmm. The wording here is a little odd. But, I believe this is going to be something that they build up. Yeah, because it says whenever attacking... So I think this is a, something that they do end up building up. So they're going to have, what I presume, 250% attack and defense after doing 4 attacks. And then 50% of that on super. So that's looking pretty good. Um, again, this is another slot 2 unit, unfortunately. What are their stats? So they're int. I think int gets like 5,000 to everything. And even if it's only like 4,000 just to like really lowball them, they're still going to be over 11k to defense. So they're actually going to be looking pretty good defensively. So this is actually really, really nice. Uh, and then of course with their exchange animation can be used once four turns have elapsed. So excellent, excellent, excellent exchange ability. Only four turns and it is an active skill animation as well. So that's really, really good. Wow, this unit is actually looking to be very, very good. I am really, really excited to see this. That is really, really nice. Only four turns. That's great. <laughs> um, Lynx is Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Super God of Combat, Warrior Gods, Resurrection F, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Now, not the best Lynx set ever in the game. Uh, because again, Resurrection F, which we'll take a look at in just a moment, not exactly the greatest link. Warrior Gods, not too bad. Super God Combat has got me a little bit confused, because that's not a link you see very often. Um, but again, at least he does have thing. Uh, at least he does have things like Prepared for Battle, Saiyan Warrior Race, and then Super Saiyan as well. Uh, and then categories: Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Bond of Master and Disciple, Turtle School, Mastered Evolution, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle. Battle of Fate, and then Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, so, they are on a lot of teams, which is really, really nice. But, um, again, the Link set has got me a little bit worried. Alright, so what does Vegeta do? So, Vegeta now greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, and immense damage to the enemy. So, this is a unit I would say you want to pump full additionals into, because, again, this is going to be amazing. So he randomly changes a type of key sphere other than int to rainbow. So he's a rainbow key sphere orb changer for the first three turns from first appearance. So for three turns, he's going to be a rainbow orb changer. 
which is actually really, really good. He still has 150% at the start. He still keeps the 50% on super. He gets another 1 key and 25% chance to perform a critical hit per rainbow key sphere obtained. So if you get 4 rainbow key spheres, you have a guaranteed 100% chance to crit. So this Vegeta is going to be doing really good damage. Because, again, two Rainbow Key Spheres is 50%, three is 75. So this Vegeta is going to be doing a lot of damage. He gains another 100% attack and defense when collecting a single Rainbow Key Sphere. And then another extra 50% to defense when collecting three or more. This Vegeta is very stupidly freaking busted. Why? Why is he this good? Okay, let me put this into perspective. So this guy changes rainbow key spheres, or, or changes key spheres to rainbow for, for, for the first three turns. So for three turns, you're going to be able to do this. Keep in mind that um, Vegeta is going to have 150% at the start. If you give him three rainbow key spheres, bare minimum, three. Because technically with him, you know, changing Rainbow Key Spheres, you can easily get more than three. You can very easily get four. You can even get five if you're really lucky. But if you give this guy three, he's going to give himself another 100% to attack and defense. So that's 250% attack and defense. And then another 50% to defense. So he's going to have 250% attack and 300% to defense. He's going to give himself 3 key, and he's going to have a 70%, 75% chance to crit. And he's going to be getting another 50% on super from his passive, and then another 50% from his super attack effect. And he can do this for 3 turns. Again, I, I need to really, really, really stress how stupidly good this is. And then his links are also unchanged. This Vegeta, depending on how he works without the rainbow, again, with uh, uh, without the rainbow orb changing, he could, and I'm saying this very, very lightly, he could be the new best unit in the game. Emphasis on could. Because I do think Ginyu in his base is better than Goku. Again, Ginyu I think is better in his base form. Vegeta potentially might be better than Ginyu Goku. But at the same time, Ginyu Goku is no slouch. So I'm actually really interested to see what this Vegeta is going to look like. Again, with his passive, with the rainbow orb changing, you know, no longer in effect. All right, and then we have a new Jacko. So they're finally going to be releasing a Jacko that's actually usable, which is nice. So he's ally of justice, three key and 130%. Super attack is the elite beam, causes supreme damage with a great chance to stun. So it's nice that they made him, um, a, you know, at least a usable unit. And, and the fact that, again, he's going to be able to stun. Um, Alright, so stats. Jacko's going to be moderately good defensively. He should be at around 9,000 or maybe 10,000, depending on what stats they give him uh, for his defensive stats. So he's going to be, I would say, okay defensively. So he gets 3 key and 140% at the start. So I like the fact that, like the fact that they gave him key. He has a 70% chance to evade enemies attacks when in the first slot so slot one he has a 70 percent chance to dodge he has a 50 percent chance to dodge and debuffs the enemy by 20 percent attack and defense for two turns in the second or third slot he gets another 60 percent attack when facing an extreme class enemy and attacking you know said extreme class enemy and then he gains another 20 percent attack and defense per attack evaded Max of 80%. His links are Brainiac's Flea, Solid Support, Patrol, Signature Pose, Resurrection, F, and Fierce Battle. 
and then categories is movie hero, special pose, space traveling warriors, and ally of justice. All right. I do think this Jacko is good. Again, because he does have the stun, he has the dodge in slot one, which is 70%, and then he does have the dodge and the debuff in slot two and three. And then he does build up extra attack and defense with dodge. But at the same time, because he's so limited in the category teams that he's on, I really wish they would have made him a support type unit. Again, his kit is great. Again, he has really good usability. I think they would have made him even better, though, if they had just made him a support. Specifically for Ally of Justice, which is, of course, STR Videl's team. And lo and behold... Videl needs units that can give her key. So what I would have done with this Jacko is get rid of this, get rid of this entire part of his passive, and put Ally of Justice category allies, 4 key, and 30% attack and defense. That's all he needed to have, and I think this Jacko would have been up there as one of the better banner units in the game. Because again, as of now, he is good. Like, again, don't get me wrong, he is good. But I think he could have been way better. But again, I'm not that upset with what they did with him. But again, just making him a support type unit would have made him even better. Uh, but again, that's just me nitpicking at that point. Alright, so... I did pull up the Resurrection F link. The reason for that is because, again, this unit is specifically from the Resurrection F Saga as well as Movie. Uh, to kind of show you guys why I think this unit might struggle when it comes to their Link set. Because Resurrection F, there's not a whole lot of units. Again, you don't have a lot of diversity here that you can run them with. Uh, because, again, you need to be either linked up with one of these guys or Frieza, which, you know, probably not gonna end up doing. Um, let me go ahead and pull up. What is it? Super God Combat? Yeah, dude. Again. <laughs> no one has this link. Resurrection F is nice. Again, one key, 10%. But Super God Combat. Yeah, that's 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 not doing it for me. <laughs> like, that's, So these two links already are just dead, in my opinion. These are just not good. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out because, again, they really need to stop doing this. They should have just kept Resurrection F and then gotten rid of Super God of Combat. Just a little nitpick there. So let's look at their link set. Master to Evolution, Realm of Gods, and then it's a 200% to Pure Saiyan. So you, you, you. So Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku's gonna be getting a 200% leader skill. So is this unit. Um, who else? Let me go ahead and point out, I guess, some of the bigger ones. He's gonna be getting... I think he already had one, but again, just to, I guess, give him a little bit of extra uh, love and sunlight, you're going to be getting one. He's going to be getting one. All the Kaioken Gokus are going to be getting one. Most of the units here are actually going to be getting a 200% leader skill, because most of these guys are actually pure Saiyans, except for, like, the Gotenks and, like, the few Trunks and Gohans. But most of the units here are actually going to be getting 200% leader skills, but I think most of these guys already did. Specifically, the Blue Gokus, because, again... The Anniversary LR is Power Beyond Super Saiyan. And then for Realm of Gods, he's going to be getting a 200% leader skill. UI Goku's going to be getting a 200% leader skill. Oh, baby. They have opened the floodgates. He's going to be... Oh, never mind. He's not. But UI Goku, to me, is the biggest one. He's now going to be getting a 200% leader skill. Oh, lord. Yeah, so all the other units, again, kind of already had 200% leader skill, but it's, it, dude, it's the UI Gokus that I'm happy for. Because they're going to be giving them that sexy 200% leader skill, baby. Oh, dude, things are going to be going wild. All right, so <laughs> with that said, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Um, I am very, very excited to see what this unit can do. You're going to be getting one, you're going to be getting one, and you're going to be getting one. That is going to be the main discussion, I guess, of this because UI Goku is probably going to dominate the game again. <laughs>
He is, he, dude, he is really, really good. He's probably going to get a revival, and so is this guy. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I am, I, dude, I am more than excited uh, for this unit now, because I just, again, I just realized he's going to be getting access to that. That is really, really big. Uh, so again, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Uh, you guys can let me know what you guys think of this Goku in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. name of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.